gas pedals. <laughs> on, on this shirt, in the uh, alternative version, on the back it says giving you gas, which is very nerdy. Um, hey people, we are here with Rodenberg. That is a very German company, it's Rodenberg. It's not Rodenberg, because, you know, we know how to say it. And if you don't know it, do it with me. <laughs> Rodenberg. It's gotta be a little bit R and then Berg, not Berg. Okay? Rodenberg. Let's do it right. So, um, first of all, these things are sexy and they look cool and they've got the whole thing with the laser cut thing. And we really don't necessarily care what they look like and uh, what they sound like when they look this cool. This is bass shit. Go away there. Who knew? Bass. Bass. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> this is the good stuff. Um, so far, I've had the luxury of testing this. I don't have it, but I did the Toman demo for it. And from the first moment that you unbox this, it is fun, it feels super high-end, and just look at this laser cut shit right on here. And then, ha ah, 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 <laughs> But, ha ah, 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 You know? I mean, that is sexy shit. Who cares what it sounds like? And then you got the, the carbon behind it. And not just that you have laser cut, I'm gonna say aluminum? No? Metal. Okay, and then you've got the, I, this is just great, but then come up here. I don't want to go. But then the thing was, I put it on the table, and I plug it in, and there isn't a wrong note you can do with this. I played this with the SC4 at 245, and it's a rock monster. And then you think, okay, this is nice, and then you go into, wait, uh, the red mode, right? And then it's like, it's just, it's thick, it's fun, it's got a great articulation. And then I was like, okay, with the look, with the presentation, and only usable sounds, absolutely never a bad thing that comes out of it, that thing's gotta be shitloads of boutique money. That's under 200 bucks, right? Yes. How much exactly? 169. 169 euro. As we say in German, das ist eine Kampfansage. In the English, it would be, uh, that's a call to arms. That's, uh, that's definitely an arms race that they're starting there because this is made in the good old Fulda, right? So you actually make it all here? Yes. Okay, so this is <laughs> the German quality in a great design, small enclosure, everything feels great about it and it's fun to play. So this really floored me. Now there is the Commander 2. Which is pretty much the same thing, but get this shit. Well, we're gonna turn this off, but we don't want to blow anything. So, you can switch that here, wait, I, I, I'll figure this out. I don't know what, oh no, that's a fat switch, I'm stupid. So this switch right here is now an actual foot switch. So you could switch between the two modes. With this one on stage, you're not gonna do this with your big toe, it's not gonna ha happen. So they actually just gave it a second switch. Which, yes, it's on the left, and if you're not Velcroing this correctly, it might tip your pedal. Just don't be an idiot and Velcro it correctly. But we have, wait, I'm gonna figure this out. Don't tell me, we have two fat switches. So you could actually have, this is for the low and this is for the high. So you actually have your choice of fatness for the two modes. How much is this? 198 euros. So 20 bucks, you've been idiot. I'm sorry to say this, but why buy the Commander if you can buy the Commander 2 for 20 bucks more? Because that really gives you the option to switch. It's a two-channel pedal in that size. And it's not even bigger. It's not even bigger, Don't, that's what she said. <laughs> but um, let me show a couple of other things. We got the 707, um, which is a boost, clean boost. Um, I'm always thinking, what do I need that for? Clean boost? I just, I won't game. No. <laughs> that's fine, that's a really high-end uh, clean boost. And here we have the 808, and if you don't know what that stands for, then don't ask me, because I don't know, something about to be screeny. I don't know, 808, it's a chip that someone used somewhere, in some green pedal. Um, but again, on, the, on this pedal, same thing, we have a little bit thinner, for some reason, ah, there's no carbon, that's why. Um, the same laser cut thing with blue underneath, so they, they're clever, they didn't go for a green. They went blue, because there's too many green pedals. Um, this is bass boost, because your typical green... <coughs> We've been talking about pedals a little bit too much. Your typical green pedal will cut the low end. Which is what some people want, but 
some people don't like that. So, ba-ding! Done. Um, and then there's a switch that says 909, and I don't know what that means. High what does gain, that mean? High gain mode. High gain mode. High gain mode. But it uh, is an overdrive high gain mode, not distortion. Okay, so well, sometimes on the green pedal, this isn't enough. Yes. In that case, you use it in front of an already driving and cranking channel to get to where you want to be. But in front of a clean amp, and this isn't enough for you, you want to go, you know, that extra, you, that push over the cliff, you want to like go to 11, you know? That's your go to 11 switch. Me, likey. Price point? Ah, clever. Do it again. So you actually know where the switch is while standing up. These guys have the brains because. Both. 20 dB? 22 dB. Ah, oh, cool. So it, it kind of looks to me as if these guys actually play guitar and use these things on a pedal board because these are functions that you find out when you're actually using shit. Okay? Not just nerds that know transistors and filaments and I don't know all the words that are in these things. I have no idea. So if you think these are cool and you want a small solution, and even more opciones, then you get the 707 and the 808 in one enclosure. And that actually gives you, let me see if I figure this out. Whoa, um, you have the bass boost. See these switches on the side? Yeah. This is kind of like Captain Kirk on the Enterprise shit. This is, I mean, these old style, I'm gonna say old style kind of switches. This is really, it feel, it should be called Commander because it makes you feel like, you know, you're on the, on the Enterprise. I love the, the red in the middle, and this can't be easy to do. This is a little bit of work, right? Yes. Okay. So, you have the 707. Uh, you can add the bass, just like on the 808 uh, side. You can, let me see, add the extra gain on the 808 side to push it to the 909. Bolt. I'm going to figure this out. Ah, it's that mode, okay. So, if this is engaged in its bolt mode, then I'm switching between the two, so I don't have to go click, 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 or with my big ass foot, go click, click. Ha. I can actually switch between the two, which is cool. If it's disengaged, I have two pedals in series, but I can actually, let me figure this out, now have both of them in a different series. So it's, wait, eight, two, seven, eight, two, seven. Change it, change it. But it's 827 because the 8 goes to the 7. That is clever. First the 808, then the 707, then in the end. These guys know that. And then the go is something else. Momentary. Ah, that's a momentary. So you have your 707 and just for like, you know, one lick you roll over. And then you go. So you have a momentary switch. You can combination go and bolt. Ah, you are crazy motherfuckers, wow. And how much is this one? 269. Still for... Guys, that's that's really not, that's 269. You guys spend a lot more money on other brands for 269 and you think it's a steal. This is definitely a steal, given, here's the question, if it sounds good, which I can't tell you from looking at it, because I've played the Commander, maybe that thing's shit, I don't know, it probably isn't. But me hyping it means nothing without actually playing it, which I can't do here because we don't want to do that. So um, I'm going to talk to these nice people and see if we can actually get a demo of this happening. Um, obviously, there's, we're not going to go into it. The even bigger motherfucker, which is uh, then you have the 909 separate and you can do a whole bunch of green things and lights and switches and killer. This is definitely a very, very interesting. They're all interesting. This is definitely for the non-looper switcher guy. Come back here. I'm, I'm here. Camera people. So the uh, gas seven two eight ting overdrive. I don't know how you say that. How you say that? Gas seven two eight ng overdrive. Um, that's if you don't have a looper switcher because you want that pedal to be flexible and under your feet and switch around. If you have this in your looper switcher, it's kind of pointless because it should always be on. Then what you do is you get the 707 and the 808 and have your looper switcher decide which is on, or if you have an ES8, even the order, 
So you could do kind of all the same things you can do on the, on the combined pedal. But if you don't have a looper switcher, this is a very cool solution without having to do the tap dancing. Very, very nice stuff. And uh, whenever I'm back in the country, I'll, I'll talk to them and we'll see if we can do a test. I definitely want to show you the Commander because that was fun. I even wrote to them after I did the, did the Toman demo and said, look guys, just to let you know, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, nice people from Rodenberg. <laughs> and go away now.